brought to you by Interact Theater Company and Philadelphia Young Playwrights. It used to be different. They would take me out every weekend. And Lucy, well, she would pick me. Lucy always picked me. She didn't want a car or, or even train. I was her favorite. We were a great team, Lucy and me. By the end of every game, we were the proud owners of nearly all the houses and businesses on the track. Those were the good days when we owned Boardwalk and Park Place. <laughs> we were rich. Pass and go, collecting $200. I would make her so happy. Every time I lapped her sister's slow car on the track, she would smile so brightly. My commander had to build trenches, showed us what bombing was, how to prepare to see before we attacking, just how everything operates around the base. I haven't really seen much action, though. My unit has an assignment to deliver a package tomorrow, but besides that, that's the only assignment we've received so far. Dad, I've been here a week, and, and boot camp was more exciting than this. I mean, Dad, the commercials lied to me. They said that this would be the best thing that I would ever do, that I could be the best that I could be. But Dad, I know that I could be so much more if they just gave me the opportunity. I mean, there are enemies to kill or, or capture, and you know, I'm not sure where the thrill comes from for the other guys. I know they seem to love it, but me personally, Dad, I just don't. I just don't feel it. I started vibrating, and then I rolled my eyes into the back of my head, and, and I opened my mouth really wide, and I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Passed out on the classroom floor. <laughs> it was the scariest, most heart-wrenching thing Miss Coleman had ever seen. <laughs> she rushed to my side, and she screamed, Yes! Are you okay? <laughs> Whatever it is, be, follow your dream. 